Hi everyone, this is Saran. Welcome to my channel, The Excelism. Friends, in this video, I am going to talk about a case study on two-dimensional data set. It is very common in our offices, we deal with two-dimensional data set. The challenge in the two-dimensional data set is, we need to get the intersection value. If you look into this case study, this case study is having the rate in the gray color area here. And in the left side, it's having the kilometers in a range. And top row, you have the quantity in ranges. When user key in the kilometers, let's say 425 is at the kilometers, quantity is 235, 425 is falling into this range, quantity 235 is falling into this range, I should get 15.95 as an answer. For example, if user changes this 135 and quantity if he changes to 185, then 135 is in this row, 185 is part of this column, 15.95 must be my answer. So what are the different methods to get the intersection value in this example? Friends, as you know, in Excel, a case study, if you want to solve, the logic is very important. Based on the logic, the method we are going to follow, the procedure we are going to follow. Maybe the solution, the final result is same, but you can have more than one method when you have more than one logic. In the same way, this case study, I'm going to explain in four different methods. Method one, I'm going to take index and match combination. This is the first method through which I'll be explaining you. As you know, in Excel, index and match is one of the best combination. Earlier, people used to call it as the alternative for the uh, VLOOKUP function. Now, anyway, we have XLOOKUP function. This method, I'll be taking the help of supporting column. So, I'll be taking the supporting column and supporting row. I'll be solving this case study without even using the supporting columns also. Exactly the same, I can use index and match, but without supporting columns. So without inserting any extra column or extra row, I can solve. But if you don't want to put any extra column or row as a supporting column, probably you need to put some other formulas together. Those are the functions I'm going to use are left function, and find function combinations. Third one, third one exactly the same, but instead of making my formula bigger, writing everything into one formula itself, these left function and find function, I'm going to keep it into the concept of the defined names. As you all know, defined names are the one which we can define our own names either for a cell or for a range or for any array. That array you can build by writing the formula. So this is the third method. The fourth method, I'm going to introduce one of the new function introduced recently by Microsoft 365, that is the let function. So instead of using defined names, I can take the support of the let function. Let, let function, very recently introduced function, this is part of Microsoft 365. Friends, all these four methods I'm going to upload one after other as different parts. If you want to have the better clarity to deal with the two dimensional data, I request you to strongly follow all these videos. I'm going to keep all these parts as the playlist so that if you go into the playlist, all the videos play one after other. Thank you so much. See you in the next video. Please consider subscribing this channel. Thank you.